Hey yo, what do you do? It's your boy Tiny Films in the cut, and we are here. We are live. First and official episode of Behind the Creation. That sounds a little bit longer. I prefer BTC. Um, yeah, well, if you well, you're not wondering what this is. I'm sure we all know that this is a podcast, a podcast solely for people that are behind the scenes or behind the creations of the amazing things that we see. So your graphic designers, photographers, your filmmakers, directors, you name it. Anyone that's just involved in the creation of what we what we see um, or what we get or, yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, today I got a close friend of mine. We go way back with him, uh, even back home, Richards Bay. Uh, Usanele Kwabe. Usanele Kwabe is a filmmaking, graphic designing, did I just cut you? I'm about to say something. I apologize, bro. What do you do, bro? Yo, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, I was about to add animator in there. Uh, in the oh, sorry. Sorry about in that. The discography. Yeah, yeah. Of professions. It's called discography. Well, this discography is the is the work. The work. Oh, okay. That's 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 dope. Thanks, 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 there, general. And we got my boy, general. Behind the cameras this time around, you know. He looks so good behind the cameras, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, bro, I'm very, very honored to have you here. I really appreciate for you yeah, coming down here. What's the time? It's a pleasure. You know, it's like quarter to 11 now, 11 p.m. And yeah. we are out here. Yeah. Been needing to do episode one for how long now? I think a month. It's been a minute. It's yeah. been a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Um, I really did want to have you though as my first first guest on the show because of you know like the way my film journey had kind of you were around when everything started you know yeah. but it's not about me you know so tell us my man where does it all start where did it all start what did it all start with uh, it all started with uh, me trying things because um, I, I I never had like opportunities to do things younger. So, but in, like, sorry to catch you there. Growing up, or like, where was it? What was Richards Bay, but like, where? Which part of it though? What do you mean, like? I was a fallen play. I played the whole time. Nah, it's Kawini. Well, I started. So I could look shit. Yeah, but I wouldn't like say. Like, cause, like my memories are quite not, oh, okay, okay. you know, there. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. memories that I have are like, in, like Felton Clay. I see. Yeah, but now like my family's back. Yeah. It's coming, but I don't spend much time there. Yeah. Cause uh, I'm working. So then, from the beginning, was it, was it like just sketching Dragon Ball Z cars? What was it? Nah, like different. Like I never thought of myself as an artist. I just wanted to try things. Um, Cause as soon as I, you know, when you're a kid, like you, your, your sort of what you do is sort of controlled by your parents. Mm. So like a lot of things, like I couldn't. It's not that they didn't allow me to do. I just sometimes, like for example, like getting a camera. Like I couldn't get a camera. Yeah. Well, only when I was able to get a camera for myself, like, then, like, so, everything else is like that, so, I had to, like, do it for myself, uh, so, uh, growing up, I never, like, had, like, like I said, things, like, to do, so, as soon as I, like, could, I tried everything. Okay. Yeah. So, then, where does the, the whole artistry start from, though? Like, is it, is it a primary school thing, is it in high school? Uh... Like and like with places like Ridges Bay, it's not really like um, something that's like taken seriously yeah. at that time. I would say um, because like like expressing yourself wasn't like it wasn't seen that way. Like for example, like you can't be like a successful visual artist yeah. in Ridges Bay at that time. Um, so things like that. We're, we're not taken seriously. So, um, yeah. So now I'm asking about you, though, bro. Like, 
like now I'm 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 asking you to like walk us through like when was it like was it like an instant thing that like maybe you saw art and you're always attracted to it and then you said no I want to draw like you said that anything that happens you just want to try get into so was it like a certain inspiration that started the drawing um, you avoiding the mats what was it like I just the uh, it was all expression. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was all expression. Doesn't matter what. Like, I always say, like, the world is your stage. The world is yours, blah, blah, blah. So, it's like your canvas. So, whatever you want to express. Oh, shit. Uh, you better quote that. That's a, that's a <laughs> sonale son- 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 quote. So, whatever. Scarface. Uh, <laughs> the world is yours, but the world is a stage. Is like a common phrase but i just put those together mm. but yeah like your world is your canvas so like in terms of art like i only like only now that i realized that i wasn't like started being an artist back then mm. now that i know what it means because i was just expressing myself in different ways through dancing through drawing i can't really pinpoint the exact moments where yeah. i'm like yo i'm an artist okay you know what I mean? I always wanted to try different things. That's so with the with the um, there's the drawing, there's the graphic designing, there's the there's the cinematography, animation, animation, um, cinematography. I also say slash directing as well. Yeah, a so bit, a bit of music too. Oh, um, and music making as well. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So with like, what were the, what was was it like? I'm sure it wasn't all at once. Maybe one or two of them was was at the same time. Like, what was the order? Like, how did how did you come to like actually getting to those things there? Uh, I guess like drawing, we could be say like it's the first thing. The derivative, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like the first time you could I could um sort of create my own world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, because other things like the world already existing, so you just copy those things. Well, in drawing, like you create your own world you your own colors if you want to make a person blue you make a person blue yeah like I, that's also like the pinpoint of my animation and he's not like just saying that sorry to cut you there but he's not just saying that because it's a random thing he actually makes people blue <laughs> i've seen that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i feel like that that element like plays uh, a huge role today because i'm like i'm really getting into animation um and like like very much um it's something that i take very seriously especially um just from this year alone um a lot of things have pushed me into making more of it like the coronavirus so like not shooting um not having a camera (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) like so i find ways to create in other sort of uh medium and that's the one that is like the best for me the the animating yeah the animation because it doesn't really rely on any other yeah like i make up shit on the spot yeah like if i want to turn this table into a a fucking toilet i can you do that like nobody's holding me back so now that's the graphic designing part of everything or now the graphic designing part is more of so like I'm I feel like I'm good with like aesthetics. Yeah. So that sort of came through naturally. Even though I went to school for it, it's just like it's something that's just like I know what looks good. Mm. Um so it's just it was always there. Yeah. Yeah. So um I just want to talk about the style of yours. Right, so while we're still in uh, the graphic designing. Okay. There's a style of yours, like I just said, um, where uh, I've seen like a couple of stuff where people's faces are blue. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have this very, I always call it weird. That's, I, I, I really, I, I, I guess I don't, I'm bad with words, but like, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a very weird style, but like, I feel like that's what, like um i won't say that's what art art is but it's just a way of you expressing your things um and of course there's something 
if there is, or like to assume that there's something that kind of sparks those ideas or gives you an inspiration to do that type of work, um, is it solely you just wanting to be different? Nah, like, like I've made peace with the fact that like I'm not even trying to make it up. Like I just see things differently. Yeah. Like I'm not even like trying to act like I'm different from any, everybody else. Like I've tried to like fit in. I've tried to like do things like how other people do it, but like I just like I, I can't. I'm not trying to make myself like something that's like I'm trying to, you know, saying everybody else is not like me. Yeah. It's just like I've come to like terms with the fact that like I'm just a bit different and I think differently and um, I started to embrace it more recently with like my art like you were saying the blue people do you yeah like um started doing this prints these prints um the page is called border makes men's villains um i started doing these prints where it heavily influenced by pop art where i just like to express myself even further have like like you know like a tree it's like this another branch and it's one of my other branches um where i felt like i could take it somewhere and yeah it's just like a lot of my style is different and i'm only like embracing that like now um so with graphic design with film like my films are not really like your typical um i know some people don't like understand them and like they don't sort of get it Mm. some people don't like it which is cool <laughs> which is cool but it's like i was actually gonna also get into obviously carrying um uh the weirdness you you do carry the weirdness style in the graphic design but yeah. as well as in music video i'm um, sorry as well as in film the reason why i almost said music videos is because um your 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 music video style is not straightforward per se it's 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 like now I'm talking about the feelings that 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 I get maybe if when I s yeah, see like one of your films. Every, or everything from graphic design to um, to art to film to animation, it's all the basis of it is feeling. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm saying now, with that being said, um, you had did, I remember when you had the 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 Care for Us Festival, which we're still going to speak about, mm -hmm. um, in Richards Bay, the one that you had. That was the first one, right? Yeah. So there's been one, the one that happened last year. Yeah. At, uh, um, in Richards Bay. And uh, you d had explained to me there how, like, the whole point of making your things, you don't, you don't want really pe people to already assume the end of it or, or not that you don't want people to understand, but then, it doesn't really phase you in a way. I just wanna, I just wanna understand that. Like, can you like put me in perspective of Yoguti? Like, um, yes, it's cool how it's not a cliche ending, whatnot. But like, yeah, like it's kind of like, like honestly, I'm not trying to be different. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah, like I, I would have a storyline, write the film, but when I shoot it, um, and when I edit it, it's like it comes out differently. Okay. Like there's always like there's always a storyline. Even if we didn't like write it down, there's always a storyline. There's always like sort of like a feeling that we're trying to get. Um, uh, me and Christopher, uh, who's uh, my cinematographer. Shout out, shout sometimes. out to Christopher, man. Christopher Gavel. Shout out to Christopher. Um, and it's always like a feeling that I'm trying to like get, and I don't really pay attention to this. Like this, like the storyline is like, I just I just care about like like the feeling like even the even now like the music that you hear these days yeah. it's not really about the lyrics it's about the feeling the feeling, the feeling of like the music 100 percent. i feel so that. for me that's that. like the basis of like my art mm. it's just feeling mm. you know yeah mm. I, don't know, I don't know if that answers your question no it does bro and it's i think it's really i think it's really really great um and I think it's really great how you actually, like we said, we're just going to speak about how you bought the film, um, the Care For Us Festival, the one that you did in Regis Bay. Uh, it's, it's something that has never been done. Yeah. 
yeah, in my true. in my in my knowing, yeah. um, especially the way it was done. Um, and your plan is to have a couple of more, right? So yes. we have this. Oh my gosh, Sandela has this um, festival that he has, and it's called Kefas. Um, and I used to mix it up a lot with actually the animation that you have, E special special one. Yeah. So Did like, you? the E yeah, I think I have said that to you as well. Mm. Um, but now it's more clear. It's clear because. I remember the the, the the care for us. You were promoting special ones. You know, you had the tops there. Yeah, to be so honest, to be honest with you, like I <laughs> like to like I had no well, I had intentions. I had a script um, which was completely different to what special one is now. Okay. Like, like to it's like to everybody. Like I haven't released any episode from the actual series of special ones so, whatever, so what what wh is what is what is special one it's it's about it's about a, a boy who is fuck. popeye Ooh, special uh, one is a, is a uh, cartoon uh, okay. it, it's a cartoon it's a cartoon series that i'm working on at the moment because i'm planning on taking out all the episodes at once um about six episodes so it's a cartoon about this kid who um who is running a youtube channel and the youtube channel is very like unsuccessful and every day he tries to do these crazy out of this world things to get people's attention and the family has gotten so used to his absurdity that they nothing phases them so like it's the most ridiculous things that happen on the show <laughs> but the family just sort of makes it like a normal thing so we are getting back to care for us when i was promoting special one like i haven't like written this they had no story oh i just shit. knew that i i, I this needed to make this do. character mm. somehow and i needed to start making the series i think that's that's very cool man like like it's it's some kind of uh it's some kind of pressure on yourself yeah it 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 I yeah, guess it also kind of... That was the intention. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying now it's a method that we're all supposed to do, like put no. pressure on yourself just to get something done. No. But uh, I guess, well, me as a creative, and I hope a lot of other creatives can relate, but like I do go through quite a lot of procrastination, you know. Um, most of it comes from just my, my shit not being as organized as I want it to be. Um, and, and a lot of it also... It's a it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, maybe being a creative because now you want to do this, then you want to do that, then you want to do this, and then there's so many things that you want to do uh, that you might not even do one of them. And I think it does boil down to what I was saying: uh, just having things actually scheduled and seeing that you want to do this, want to do that. Yeah. You know. So with e e nakuzana e e special one, I think that's another approach of kind of putting your pressure on yourself um, kind of to deliver to your people because obviously there's a lot of people that, be, that you know, believe in you yeah. or follow you, yeah. you know. So with your uh, EK for us festival, uh, why K for us, you know, the, the, and the way you wrote it, I remember this explanation that you gave me, bro. <laughs> oh, what's a special one explanation. Yeah, there one was special one yeah, explanation. But, yeah, but thing. don't, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't. No, what? Don't. Who was I? I was talking to Verge also was there, right? Was, was he? I think so. Yeah, when I was saying the meaning of. Yeah, what is it? Too exclusive? No, I just want it to be something that comes out after. Because it's. After the six series. After the. I mean, it's after, the six after, episodes. After the, I take out everything. Um. Not even like I don't even want to. I don't. I'm not thinking of taking out, e taking that out. Like I, I want people to catch on to it. Catch on to the show. So like, but isn't isn't you isn't them catching on you after you've taken it out? No, it's like it's one of those things. That it's like almost like an Easter egg sort of thing. Okay, I'm not used to Easter eggs. Uh, um, educate me, brother. <laughs> No, like usually creator, creators usually um, put certain, even in games. Okay, and they call them Easter eggs. I've yeah, seen that. Yeah, so when okay, you find I've something. Heard that. 
description. Yeah, so when you find something that's, that's that you're not supposed to, that's... That's like a bonus, though. Yeah. Yeah. So I want that sort of element. Because it, even if, even though it's funny, like, especially when it's funny and it has, like, these absurd things, um, there's still, like, a deeper meaning to it. Like, all my work. Okay. There's always some, somehow. So now, care for us, like... Or the meaning. The meaning. Or oh, not, um, not, not I'm, I'm not expecting something deeper. I'm just asking, like, why that name? It's just, like, I, I was thinking of something that has to do with comfort. And um, as artists, we don't really, um, <laughs> fuck, especially in this, like, country, man, we don't really get the, the sort of, like, the comfort, the, the care that we're supposed to or be not really taken seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I'm talking about, like, true artists. Like, if you feel like you're an artist, artist, like, you're, cause y- you're just expressing yourself, and most of the time, people don't realize how much impact artists have. Yeah. And for me, care for us, especially with my kind of work, like, my kind of films. Like, I've been submitting to so many festivals but only getting into a few because my work is just so different. Like the structure of the films are different. Mm. Some people get it, some people don't. Some people like it, some people don't. So and I'm, ov- uh, I'm obviously assuming that you're not in the business of trying to shape up your 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 creations. No, at some at some point at some point they're gonna catch on. Um, I mean that that's no doubt. But care for us is about like people like me who are just like trying different sort of structures and but i'm not like close to that about anybody that creates um that it's about you like mm. um so far i'm just trying to sort of ground it up before i could involve like other people other artists actually yeah, yeah. so now um of course in the first one you showcased um a couple of your work um, before leading to the to the main thing, which was the film that she had made. Yeah, the process of starting the a process fire. Process of starting a fire. Yeah, it's a beautiful film. Uh, it's it's the one that I'm trying to get into this big thing, but the the process of starting a fire. Yeah, it's the one that I'm trying to. get Oh, the one that you don't want to change yourself on. Yeah, um, I think yeah. we spoke about that off camera, did we? No, we haven't. Was it? We haven't spoke about it. I said off camera though. We off camera. No, nah. we did. We did kinda. We did, did we? We did, we did. Oh yeah, we did. The the first person, the first. Oh oh yeah yeah we did. That's uh, the one you're trying to get into with. Yeah. Okay okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah okay it's fine. <laughs> we're speaking in riddles, but it's fine. It's all good. Yeah, I'm trying. You know. to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to like get it somewhere. Um. Uh, if I do, I'll let you guys know. If I don't, um, I'll try some other place. But yeah. 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 Yeah, nah, that, that 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 that's cool then. So, with with care for us, care for us. Like I was saying, the first one that you had made last year um, was your work. Uh, this time around, you wanna like is it the second one that you make? You wanna hopefully get 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 the people that you want, like showcase other people's work, or is it like gonna yeah. be like a second, third one? You gonna still be you, and then after that, you wanna expand it? Nah, like for me, it's not about. Uh it's not mainly about like film. I like film because it's such a visual, a visual language, and um, I would l- like I'm trying to get more other creatives involved. Like it doesn't really necessarily have to be film, because I mean the basis of it. When I was thinking about this in university, it was f- creative film festival, but like. I want it to be like something like an experience. That's my whole. That has been my whole like um, goal is to make it an experience, mm. not like a like a festival where you go to and you see performances and whatever, whatever. I just wanted to make it like an experience, almost where you, if you go here, there's like a certain thing in this environment go to this environment like an experience just different feels different feels different feels maybe you have a fuck like a jumping castle over here oh shit like just like um different 
fee like experience that's that's what i am trying to sort of put together like an experience i'm yeah, trying to make yeah. it an experience careful as to be like an experience more than like just a film festival oh, shit. so maybe different ways to experience films maybe experience photography yeah not just look at something on the wall like more more feeling mm. it's always what i'm trying to like catch it's like like a feeling so in the long run right um do you think you'll ever maybe want to create a museum called kefas a museum um because like with the explanation that i'm getting uh with that you're giving me now i'm like kind of getting that vibe you're going to see like different art pieces different artworks uh in one type of environment you know where you get different feels of course in a museum it's probably just sculptures and it's just probably just sculptures and pictures and monuments whatnot so now with care for us it's i know i wish i i would it wouldn't be the same mm. like it would be like if it if it becomes a museum it would be sort of like how can i put this like not the same experience mm. like something maybe this two weeks is like a different experience to the next two weeks but it would never be something that's like constant yeah yeah so yeah okay okay now nah, that's cool then it's cool so with the film the film of course did you start off with music videos bro uh started off with dance videos you started off with dance videos uh in high school yeah and then we moved on to music videos and um i was sort of like the first one to sort of experiment with film mm. in richard's bay uh, i don't want to take that title yo bro <laughs> <laughs> all don't. of us looked up to sunday lequabe nah. of course at that time he was alan the filmmaker nah. we were like shit nah. bro nah but like that that's that's a serious point of there like um of course coming from richard's bay uh there's a lot of things that we look up to out there yeah bro um and we it's either we like ah one day is one day um or we just motivated to do it about and that's not usually the case in Richard's Bay until someone has done it yeah you know what i mean like someone has 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 set that example in other words yeah you know yeah. um i'm not saying have a ha- go around like trying to wear that title or anything like that. Nah, I'm but never I, I'm never I, trying to wear any no, title. No, 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 Jeff, don't worry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you were. I didn't yeah. say that, right? But I'm saying like um I think it's it's it, it's dope though cuz like uh it's cool to have that acknowledgement to good like like for me um looking looking at you and looking at who who see about uh you know who Um I always looked at you always and I was always like, okay. Um it's 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 just an idea that I w- I would have also liked to 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 do. Yeah. But it was just an idea until I indulged in the fact that you guys make it made it possible and not just on an average scale but like clean ass work, you know. Yeah. And being able to 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 spread or give someone that feeling, you know. Um I'm not saying that you're supposed to just like go and be like ah yeah yeah yeah. I made you. I made you. Yeah, like for but me, for me, it's about like, like it's. I'm not. I don't want to wear that 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 title. Yeah, definitely. But I'm not oblivious to. Like the influence mm. that I have on maybe other people, who do things. It's not something that I want to like, put over people. Like I do it so other people could do it. Could do it. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. It's nothing yeah. like. It's not like, hey, I'm the first to do this. Like, it's like, yo, um, I really want to do this. I think you guys should try it too. You you might like it. Mm. Uh, you might like it. You might not. But mm. like, you at least you tried it, which is what I've always like tried to do. I failed so many times doing things. Uh, so, like, you at some point you're gonna find what you like. And my whole thing is just keep trying different shit uh something might stick you you never know like you never know what you're good at and i always encourage people like anybody that knows me like they know like 
if they tell me that they want to do something, I'm like, okay, do it. Mm. Yeah, I always be like, okay, do it. When? Set a date. I always say that, like, set yeah. a date, do it. Let's do it. Whatever you want to do, you want to become a chef. Like, okay, so what's what's stopping you? Yeah, let's set a date <laughs> so you can become just, a chef. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fail on that day. If uh, Try again. Mm. Like, it's pointless. Like, life is too short. That's cliche, but it, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. And what you want to go in the grave with is memories and you're going to have a memories of those things, especially in old age. You're going to think back to the things that you tried to do, the things that you didn't try to do. Because most of the time when you're older, if you, gr- if you regret things that you didn't do, then the things that you did, even though you failed. Mm. But you regret things that you didn't try. That's cool. That's yeah. very... Yeah. That's deep. That's That sounds like a closing message, bro. <laughs> 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 that's deep. No, nah, that's that's very powerful, bro. And I definitely, yeah. I definitely. You can make this um, thing in two hours. I don't mind. Let's, let's go. I definitely agree with you on that one there. Um, so, <laughs> nah, let me not ask that. <laughs> <laughs> ask, bro. Ask. Like, nah, let me not do that. So, um, ask, bro. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. So, like, with now there being, um. Uh, graphic design, animation, film, whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. Obviously, you also do photography. Obviously, you also you also write. Hey, how is that writing going? I remember you told me that there's an idea that you had in in, in high school of a yeah, movie that in you wrote. 2014, which is originally supposed to be special one. Okay. But I felt like I don't have the resources to. Like it's one of those things. Oh shit! It's one of those. But like, now you had said that your specials one. The whole concept had changed, right? Yeah, wait, yeah, mm. I had at that time. But um, I had this conversation with Nathan, a friend of mine. Yeah. Who is like incredible. He's a musician. Um, he moved to um, to the States and we talk all the time. And Shout out to Nathan, man. Um, he's one of like my biggest influences um, because he takes his shit like serious. Serious, serious. And serious. Yeah. And we had this conversation. I had this conversation with him because he knows the story from back then. Like oh, he's sure. the only person that knows that has read that story. Oh, okay. So he got excited um, when I told him that I want to make that special one. But then, like, I soon realized, it's like I just like I don't. It's one of those like you know Avatar, the film. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, I mean, like, he couldn't have done that in 1995. Oh shit! Like you know what I mean. So it's one of those situations where I just have to like wait it out. It's one of those ideas, and like it's very good. Like it's super good. Like it's. So from twenty twenty fourteen, because you didn't make it special ones. So like, what's the plan with it? Are you are you still adding on it? Uh yeah, I still add on it like from time to time when I feel like it at that moment because I'm always like. I'm the type of person that like is always constantly working. Yeah, um, yeah. So I would create something right now. When I get bored, uh, go to my other mediums, maybe create a piece, an sure, art piece, sure. or go back to animation or write. Or, but I'm always constantly, my mind is always racing, so I have to do something uh, to, because everything is energy. So mm. when you, you have to release that energy, so I always try to release it on things that are productive so I don't regret um, that energy. So, yeah. So um, what what did you study again? Uh, information design. Information design. Yeah. That's what they call graphic design in 2020. Yo, shout out, shout out to, shout out, shout out to my homie, uh, Dineo. She just, fa- uh, Video, cool. she video, no, she video called me this morning, uh, but I was at work, so we spoke later on today, and she's the first black female to get a cum laude in that degree. So, Is it specifically in UP or uh, just countrywide? Yeah. That is dope, so man. She fe- she 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 fe- she female. She is female. She is female. She's, she's the she first black female to ever get like so i'm super proud of her nah, like, shout, super, shout out super to her what's her name sorry Dineo. shout out to Dineo, man shout out to Dineo. yeah so with with the information sorry say that again 
information design i know Shit. it's hard to like information remember design. because even my mom if i go to my mom today and ask her what do i study she wouldn't like answer me <laughs> even though i was there for four years <laughs> uh but yeah it's like graphic design but with more details yeah yeah so spe- speaking of speaking of your mother like like how do you how do you <laughs> convince how do you convince her that no i'm gonna go do I'm gonna go do arts. Like I feel like I feel like I could have any parents in the world, but like there's nobody that could, like, stop me from what I wanted to do. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, but with her, like I um, I always prove I always prove myself with like. It's almost like a PowerPoint presentation. Oh shit! But it's not That's really dope. like it's not like a physical PowerPoint presentation, but it's a situation like that yeah, yeah, yeah. where I prove. Like, what am I going to do with this? Blah, blah, oh, blah. Right. Like, I'm not just, like, lazy. But then there was no point where she kind of turned it down. Like, she wasn't for it. And then you had to do some proving. Nah, there was no point. Uh, my parents... Oh, it's automatic with, your, with no, the race. Like you just parents, have to prove My it parents anyways. always, like, just, like, sort of, like, hey, you know, like... Do you, bro? Do you. Um, as long as you know, you can. <laughs> you cashing in? Yeah, I mean, I guess that obviously, but yeah, like, yeah. as long as you feel like it, because we can't do anything about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm um, thankful for that also. Like it, it avoided so many things. Like for example, like in high school, like I didn't, I didn't do math core or anything like that because I didn't need it. Yeah, and most parents, even if you know, even though you like explain to them that you don't need something like that, like they sort of force you to do it. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like I didn't need things like that, so that allowed me to focus more on art. Um, so I did maths lit, and I, I was able to sort of get a really, really high mark in like art, like close to a hundred. Oh shit! Like so, if I did things like. Life science, physics, and math core. The shit you're not into. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Nothing. I wouldn't have had to focus on those things that I actually am good at. You yeah. Know? So, I, I, them being sort of those kind of parents um, allowed me to, um, you know, sort of make decisions that are good for me. Yeah, and ab- and obviously giving that instinct that if you want to do something. You got to be able to back it and prove it. That yeah, it's, it's always it's always that case because mm-hmm. like, um, I went to university for four years, right? Yeah, hundred percent. My parents have never like been there. To, to your university. From day one, like I've ne- they've never like came. What you talking about, bro? I've been to four tertiaries. My mother's never been there. No, like <laughs> it's different. It's different. <laughs> like, this is all the way, like, like you are in Durban, right? Yeah, yeah, Your parents yeah. are, your mom is in Richards Bay. Exactly. My yeah. mother's an hour and 45 minutes away. They were, like, eight hours away from you. Yeah, but, like, what I'm trying to say is that, like, yeah, yeah. like those kind of decisions where it's, like, you're forced to make yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. I feel. I yeah. see. But I like. I mean, other kids are also like that. Mm-hmm. Where they might like they've never. I could have dropped out. <laughs> they wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> for real, like I could have been like not, doing not nothing. Speak about, let's not speak about dropping out. Okay, okay, yeah. That's that's not that's <laughs> let's not, not do that. Let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, but I'm uh, just I'm just explaining like forced independence. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think I think it's I think it's I think it's gr- great. Yeah, I mean, like some, but you know, sometimes it's nice. You know, it's hard, but it, I guess you have to go through that because mm. you made those decisions. Yeah, it, it allows you to be accountable. Uh, accountable. I, I guess. I guess also, um, like, I feel like you've never been thrown in a deep end that hasn't made you stronger. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, so I'm like not saying I'm not saying now that bro, we are definitely not speaking about 
Dropping Maybe out. your 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 parents being bad to you. Nah. Or shit like that, you know. But yeah. then like it's a topic of conversation that like um just getting thrown in the deep end, I guess it does take a lot out of you. You know, like it doesn't prove prove you. Yeah. Um, in a way. So like also example of you uh promoting special ones at Care for Us before yeah. having done it. You yeah. know, you threw yourself in the deep end, put that pressure on yourself yeah. and you're able to execute after that. Yeah. You know, so I feel like with, with, with anything really, um, it's only it's only as bad as we see it uh, as it is, you know. <laughs> nah? No. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, and me realizing like I spe- like spending time with like older people, like the stress never stops. <laughs> <laughs> Like with about about dollar, you being around about about no, dollar. like I went about dollar, like old people, maybe like fifty, you know, sixty. Like there's always something to stress about. Yeah. About so you're never gonna get to a point where you're not gonna so you just get used to it. Oh shit. <laughs> just get used to it and do what you have to do, like, cause it's always gonna be there. It doesn't matter what, it's always gonna be an issue. So just get used to it, and most of the time that's the thing. Like, people are scared because they're scared to do it because of the stress. But of you the outcome. Yeah, like, of, of disappointments and all that stuff. Mm. And me, like, I always try to learn. Like, so I don't, like, I always try to get through things now before I get to a certain age. Mm. Like, I don't want to be asking myself questions when I'm, like, 60, 70. Like I'm, tr- I'm trying to get rid of those questions now. Um, being honest to myself, honest with everything, like God and everything that I believe in. It's being just being honest with yourself because at the end of the day, like you can't really lie to yourself. <laughs> so, so just being honest with yourself. That's what like I've been like trying to do and like getting over certain things. And it's hard, but like it's something that you you're gonna. Um, sort of appreciate that you did early, earlier on. Like everybody's like, "Yo, like don't worry about anything. Your twenties are supposed to be like the years that you enjoy." Blah blah blah. Nah, fuck that. Like I'm trying to figure this shit out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure it out now, so oh, so I don't have to deal with some shit later, later on. Later on. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Ah, uh, nah. That's that's definitely. I definitely back that one. I definitely back that one. Yeah. Like everybody's like, "Yo, like relax. Like live your." Like it, I mean, it's cool to like turn up like a, a bit, you know, and like, you know, relax. But like, always like think about like, you know. Because if you're relaxing now, then when are you gonna, yeah, you, you know, know, build your shit situations? Because honestly, man, everybody's insecure about something. Everybody has some anxiety about something. So why don't you ask yourself the question of what is it specifically? Get that like, deal with it now. And then move on. Yeah. Because trust me, there's going to be, when you get to 30, there's going to be some other shit that you're going to be insecure about and have some anxiety about. So rather deal with this shit now than to double it up later on. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, my thing. All right, bro. I'm going to ask you two things. The first one is real quick. Can I just ask you not to bang that table? You know, you can. Yeah. Can you hear that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to ask, um, you're doing, of course, I'm going to keep forgetting it, don't worry. You just graduated from information... Design. Information design. Just say ID. ID. Yeah. I'm used to IT, bro. Just say ID, bro. Okay, you, you, you graduated from ID, and of course you do the other things. So, like, where would you like to see yourself in five years? Five years from now, 2025... Um, and I also, I also, I also, like, I don't want to say I strongly believe in it, but then I, I, I do back the fact that, like, if I'm doing, if I'm doing, like, two different things, I can't give those two different things 100%, 100%, you know, like, I can only give it, like, a, a good 75, yeah. you know. Um, and that's me pushing it, me pushing it, pushing it. But obviously, if I'm giving something, it's hundred percent. Like, you know, um, especially also because uh, we both in the arts industry, and realistically, we, we both know how 
financially how hard it is to 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 get something that's solid that's consistent that's like that's that's set in stone you know um unless of course you are doing this within the industry like you are this person in the industry right so um the question is in five years do you see yourself still doing all these other things at the same time um not that you'll stop doing it like completely all at once but like or do you see yourself maybe like you're saying you're trying to do the most now so that later on not that you can chill but then later on you'll have a really quiet that knowledge at a young age yeah but i'm not not saying like later on relax yeah no no no, no definitely that's not what you're saying that's yeah. not what you're saying yeah you know um but now so like what is it though like are you uh where do you see yourself in five years i'll be i'll be still making films okay um there's this one that i've been wanting to make um, same one the 2014 one no there's another one it's another one yeah. i've been trying to make um but i haven't sort of experienced that and i want to experience that before i make it um are you allowed to speak about this one no yeah i mean i want to make um like a film about a love story like a like a re like a good love story okay obviously in my perspective um yeah that's what i've been sort of for the past two years something that i've been like trying to like think of how to make it because i usually brainstorm or i mood board in my head you're on some quentin tarantino eh? like you <laughs> takes you 10 years to think of a movie <laughs> No, it's like I I mood board in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I storyboard in my head before I am like, okay, it's doable. Okay, okay. Um, if I get the feeling right in my head and the look, because um, for me, it's better that way. Um, yeah. Yeah, love story is something that I like want to make. Uh, I might make it in the next, f- like, five years. Mm. Um, and... I sort of feel like special one is like it's like the thing yeah for me it's like i want to make more of that so i'll be still making that maybe if i haven't done like the second season um because i feel like if this one doesn't like pull through uh i feel like i'll be fucked like career wise, like to be honest, like I feel like I will be fucked um, if special one doesn't work out. And that's just me being honest. And I'm cool with that kind of pressure on myself mm. uh, because I fully believe in it. And um, it's something that I've spent time on. And, you know, when you, s- I don't know, like obviously you spend time in a lot of things, but sometimes some things just are different than others. And you end up believing in them more. Um, so that's us believing special one a lot. So, yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, so I'll be still making a special one. Maybe. Um, yeah, possibly, yeah. Yeah. And other... Um, I have so much... So many animation uh, series that I've just, like, written and just, like, thrown on the side. Um, like a party of two, the one with the cockroaches. Yeah, yeah. That's one of those just ideas that are just on the side. Oh, yeah. Like sometimes I would be like, oh, how do I feel about this? Let me just brush it up and put it out. So this is one of those things. So I have so many of those where I'm just like, like I would write, maybe I would animate them and just put them out on the side and just like, so I would still release a lot of those. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the right time and the right platform. Uh, but yeah, five years, special one is definitely, and that love story maybe. Mm. Yeah, I just feel like I need to experience that more. Oh shit! Then before making it. Yeah, yeah, I know Nyagos or Nyagos. So like, not 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 in a whole nutshell, but like in some kind of nutshell, in the next five years, you'll you'll be directing and animating. Uh yes, mm. uh, cause I've been trying to narrow down what I do, um, and 
being solely like a filmmaker so that's already has so much like animation as part of being a filmmaker um so definitely a focused um narrowed down career um because sometimes i get tired of like people asking me like what do you do i'm like a photographer graphic design filmmaker (laughs) no it's like i'm not i don't even like i don't like different i just been doing different things yeah like it's not like i'm trying to do so much i just enjoy different things so i've been trying to narrow it down um and it's working yeah um and strength it's, it has strengthened my abilities in some things um like i saw in the music video that we did for simi sims um oh, sure. it's a green um oh you were just directing there yeah um where it's like a focused <sighs> um i put so much energy and time yeah. into that video yeah and you could which is actually fucking dope, man. You gotta go check it out. Uh, Simi Sims and Take Me In. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I I wanted people to be like I wanted a lot of hands on that project mm-hmm. because um I just wanted to know how it's like to, to uh, get a team behind the project. Uh, yeah, not necessarily a team, but like creatives. Oh shit! Like different creatives, different hands, yeah. um, because when when you look at music like most of the best albums that's how they actually put together yeah there's like so many so minds. many people bro yeah yeah it's like a that's trumpet player a keyboard yeah. player a guitarist a writer this and that like mm-hmm. most of the best things are usually put together by a team so that was the first sort of of many things that i want to do in that department mm. um yeah so a narrowed down filmmaker um in five years yeah that is dope my man it's <laughs> bong a cool brother man uh it was great great to finally get you out here it was f- fucking great to actually f- finally do the first episode um bro where can they find you dog please just let them know please let them know real quick uh on all on all social media platforms yeah, Sunny the club Sunny the club um instagram uh facebook twitter youtube uh only fans just joking <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah i also have an art page uh with a couple of prints and we we're gonna do more stuff on that page uh more creative sort of outlets on that page is called boredom makes men's villains uh do we have enough time to explain that name nah bro no we don't okay. <laughs> I uh yeah just check it out oh yeah oh yeah short man short <laughs> man uh nah i just wanted to have some more some more shit to talk about because we're going to be seeing uh sunday on a lot of the um, the btc episodes maybe try um, to make this a cool setup where we can have myself and him as a host talking to a guest um mm. But yeah, otherwise, really great experience, man. Really great having you here. The directing, filmmaking, animating, graphic designing, bullshit speaking (laughs) uh, person. Virtuoso. Small Alkulu, bro. Uh, Thank you guys for watching the first official episode of Behind the Creation. I hope you guys are here for the next episode. Thank you to my man, Janon Jinyela. One of the biggest inspiration of this this podcast. Uh, and thank you as well to Sanele Kwabe. Shout out to my nigga Q for not, he be, although he's not here, but shout out to him. And yeah, you can follow uh, the podcast on Behind the Creation. I think, I think, yeah, that's that's the handle. And you can follow myself on Tiny Films underscore. Cut. Cut. Fuck bitches, get money. Oh, and also listen on audio. Journal's going to sort that out, Fuck but I'll post you guys money. about that. Um, Fuck oh, and also money. shout out to TK. Shout out to Energy Studios for the design of the of the logo itself. Fuck bitches, get money. Yeah, that's, that's his last word. That's his actual last words. <laughs>